I've heard this before, but haven't really looked into it. Turns out where you live can change your life expectancy. We're not talking by a few months, but in some cases by more than a decade. But there are apparently practical ways to change your chances, and Steve Nielsen takes a look. All along this place, there's vegetables, good food to grow and eat as a community. We're rolling up our sleeves. We're empowering ourselves. Darren Chapman with the Tiger Mountain Foundation says they're all about transformation. Taking a vacant lot, turning that vacant lot into a space of opportunity. There's a workforce economic development component, and all of that comes right back into a circular or virtuous cycle of how we change the narrative of our community. This is one of the nonprofits Equality Health Foundation is targeted to solve a complex problem. And it's all about improving quality of life and longevity of life. According to some studies, life expectancy in South Phoenix is 14 years less than in North Scottsdale. This is the Blue Zones Activate effort, which researched the healthiest, longest living populations in the world and tries to recreate it here. You know, what you eat, how you move, your built environment, where you work, where you spend most of your time, uh, how you connect with your loved ones and your community, your purpose in life. All of these things are part of the Blue Zone model. They're also working with groups like Diana Gregory Outreach Services to fight hunger in South Phoenix. You know, we're excited because we're part of this initiative where we are delivering to seniors and veterans on a daily basis to provide them with nutritious food to help combat food insecurity. Equality Health says their Blue Zone Phase 2 will now implement the feedback they've received. Lasting impacts, though, may take years. Ultimately, people are going to live healthier, uh, not just physically, but mentally. And, um, and, and they're also going to live, uh, add years to their lives and live longer lives. And they're going to leave a better community for the next generation to come.